even though that Winnie Pooh movie, the Blood and Honey movie, doing Winnie the Pooh as a horror character, even though that movie wasn't very good, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was still. I'm actually happy that a movie like that exists. And the same applies to Mickey Mouse, who now, just on the very first day of of 2024, or well, I mean today. I'm, oh wait, today's January 2nd. Why am I thinking it's January 1st? I don't know. My timelines get kind of messed up. But now that Mickey Mouse is public domain. We got now a horror game of Mickey Mouse and two movies. One of them lazily just being a guy in a Mickey Mouse costume, whatever. And then the other actually being in production and them actually CGIing some mouse who actually is a murderer. Now, I'll say this is what's funny about it all is the fact that when we get these children's characters, these family characters... And the first thing we think of doing with them is making them into vicious killers. And I'm going to say this right now. Look, I watched Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. That movie is okay. It's not horrible, but it's also not good either. Like, I'll admit one of the things I didn't like is that it's not really Winnie the Pooh. It's a guy in a mask, and that that was just cringe. But the fact that that exists and that you can do that legally is cool. The same applies with Mickey. Even though the trailer for that new movie looks bad, I'm happy that it exists. And I don't really have much to say, but I saw some people trying to like ride for Disney saying, it's not fair that people are allowed to use Mickey Mouse. Well, first of all, they're not allowed to use Mickey Mouse. They're allowed to use that version of Mickey Mouse, which I'm, I think it's the first iteration of Mickey Mouse. I don't know my Mickey lore, bro. I'm learning as this goes on. It's Steamboat Willie. It's this little cartoon that shows up in the beginning of every Disney animated movie that is Disney and not Pixar, Marvel, or anything else. It's Disney themselves specifically. Um, and, you know, they're able to do fun things with it. I saw some people be saying that this whole public domain thing is stupid. And I actually disagree. I think it's fun. I, I, I think the law, and I, I didn't. it's not like I researched this, but I think the law is if it's over 100 years or 90 years, I don't know, 100 years, I guess, it's that it becomes public and that the public can do whatever they want with it and it's no longer trademarked. And I'm fine with that because by that point, the creators have died. Walt Disney is not alive right now. And if he was, him and Kanye would have been good friends. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. But, but I'm fine with it because the creators are gone. Let's just let other people have fun with it. One thing I'll say this right now. When I was younger, when I was in my high school years, I used to write a lot of fan scripts. It is called fan fiction, but I didn't call them that. I called them fan scripts. And it was like when there was like a new movie coming out, I would write my own scripts. I would write my own version of those scripts. I remember when the Batman got announced. I wrote my own script of what I wanted the Batman movie uh, to be. And funny enough, in that I actually predicted Riddler being in the movie because I don't think it was announced Riddler would be the villain. But I ended up predicting that. Funny enough, I I didn't make Riddler the main villain in my script. I made him like a like a, a villain who was already in Arkham Asylum, and he has like a major cameo in it. One day I should reveal these scripts that I had. I once did a script for Endgame before it came out. I did one for I think the last one I did was with No Way Home. This was when I had more time in my life. Uh, but now that I'm outside of high school and have been outside for years, I'm significantly more busy. Uh, by the way, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is off topic. If you're in high school, enjoy life right now because it, it gets far harder after. All right. You think right now you're in the final stages. Nah, bro. You're just getting started. All right. Once you go to college or a real job or whatever, that's when it gets harder, bro. Like being completely honest. But I saw some people like me writing this idea of, oh, you shouldn't be allowed to change the characters. Of this, this. The creators are dead. Disney doesn't care about Mickey Mouse. They only care about the idea that Mickey is purely their face. And here's the reality. Here's the reality. No one's going to see these Mickey Mouse movies and think Disney is evil. Why would they do this? Like, there's not a parent stupid enough that they're going to go see that Mickey Mouse. Oh, it says Mickey Mouse. And then they're going to take their kids to it. Actually, I'm wrong about that. There's actually stupid enough parents, but it's not going to be large enough to where it causes them damage. Like, I don't care. I see people arguing this. I don't care. Let other people take a crack at these characters. Let's let's see different stories. This is why I'm fine if DC, which is my favorite, like, 
anything any entertainment wise dc is my favorite i'm fine if fans are allowed to make their own superman scripts their own batman scripts i'm fine with people making their own comics of these characters i'm fine and i honestly i'm i think it's okay i think it's all right because at the end of the day fans should be smart enough to know what's the difference you know just have fun with it i hope you know, I think Superman goes public in 2030 something. I don't know. I know Batman goes public, I think, in 2035. I don't know exactly when. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I, don't, I, don't, I, I It's going to be fun, bro. It's going to be fun. Regardless, that's kind of happened. I mean, Homelander's kind of a variation of Superman. Omni-Man. I mean, literally any flying buff dude with a cape is basically a Superman variant. And you know what? Let's have fun with it. Now, I, I do question society for the fact that Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse, the first things we decided to do was make them into horror characters. But you know what? I'm all in for it. I saw this one guy. I think his name is Daniel RPK. Um, big Hollywood show. I saw him put out a tweet saying they're, they're breaking the law. Like it, it, One of the movies is called Mickey's Mouse Trap. And they were saying like they're breaking the law. They're not allowed to do that. I'm like, well, first of all, why are you shilling for Disney? Why, why are you simple for, does Disney pay your bills, bro? Like, if they are, hats off to you. I, if Disney paid my bills, I'd probably be doing the same. But, but first, who cares? And then second, no, it's, you could tell clearly in the title, cleverly, it says Mickey's Mousetrap. It's not saying Mickey Mousetrap. It's saying Mickey's Mousetrap. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. And even if they are breaking the law. Who cares? This isn't an immoral crime. I think that's something I've noticed from society. People don't seem to understand the immoral crime and a moral, or not a moral crime, but a, but a non-immoral crime. Like if a guy steals like a bag of Doritos, we're not going to be like, that guy is evil. That guy, he's technically a criminal. And yes, criminals are shunned in society. But I'm going to be honest. If I see a guy that, got, that his criminal record is that he stole a bag of Doritos, I'm not going to be like, wow, man, I can't believe we have Hitler Jr. here. I can't believe Jeffrey Dahmer is reincarnated. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be like, oh, I mean, I don't know why you risked your life for a bag of Doritos, but good on you. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, like I remember when I was in the movie talk space, there's this big idea on how pirating is stealing, like when you pirate a movie. And I'm thinking, bro, if pirating is, is, is a genuine crime, bro. You should lock up most kids in America, bro. Most kids pirate. Obviously, not. I like we didn't. We didn't. But I'm gonna just say this: nearly every kid I knew was a pirating movies. They would literally go on websites like one, two, three, or or whatever, and they would be finding like the newest Hunger Games movie at the time or whatever movie. I mean, that's how a lot of kids watched R-rated movies. I in my time. Okay, that's just my time. All right, when I was in middle school, bro, I, I'll never forget in class, we were watching, uh, I think it was the, the first Matrix movie in a website. That's all I can say. Uh, but, hey, look, I don't care, bro. I'm fine with these movies existing. I'm fine with Mickey Mouse now being a horror character, bro. I, I'm fine with it, especially with Disney, because I'm going to be honest, Disney does not have my sympathy. Disney has no empathy for me. I don't like the corporation, a lot of the things they've done are very suspicious to me but that's a whole nother topic to discuss anyways you guys let me know what you think about this do you agree are you fine with these mickey mouse horror movies or do you think it's it's dumb silly i don't care bro they're probably gonna be bad honestly they're probably gonna be bad that winnie the pooh movie was bad but hey the fact that we can all like right now you can go create a movie right now go get your phone go get your phone go record a mickey mouse movie or not mickey mouse movie, a steamboat willie movie go do that bro because it's funny <laughs> it's funny it's, it's funny it's funny okay it's funny like and i'm gonna say this right now if i created like let's say i created a comic called super racist man i don't know why i thought that but let's think it's super racist man he has the power of shunning minorities whatever he hates mexicans specifically so mexicans are his kryptonite i don't freaking know okay i write a comic called super racist man i do that for 10 years and then one day i die 100 years later I don't care how many other versions there's been a super racist man, but I myself would be okay if someone was like, hey, let me change it up a bit. Let's try to make my own version of it. It's not like it changes the original. It just makes something new. It's the way I see, see like I, when, when sequel movies come out that aren't good, whether it's the Star Wars sequels or whether it's 
the Terminator movies post Judgment Day or whatever. I'll always see people being like, they ruined my childhood. They ruined the original. It's like, no, they didn't. Those movies still exist. You can still like those. It's like to me, I love the MCU. Do I love the MCU post Endgame? Not exactly. I mean, there's been a couple of gems in there, but not exactly. But it doesn't ruin my love of what the MCU was from 2008 to 2019. Like it doesn't it doesn't change anything, you know, and even like I love those first two Terminator movies when Dark Fate came out. I wasn't like dark like I even though I hated Dark Fate when I first watched it. I don't hate it now, but I definitely don't like it. But when I first watched Dark Fate, I was like, oh, I hate it. But I was never like, it ruined my love for the first two movies. And it's like, no, I go watch those movies, ignoring that the other movies exist. Like, I think the same should apply with Mickey Mouse. Like, if you're someone who loves Mickey, these horror movies shouldn't change your mind. Same thing with Winnie the Pooh. Like, not only that, but these are kids' characters. I mean, kids' cartoons, whatever. What are you doing still focusing so much on these characters made for children like you should you should be out there in the job wars okay those burgers ain't going to flip themselves all right i'm not gonna lie to you i also want these posters removed i'm not even gonna lie to you except that one good above all good god above all i wrote that one because hey it is what it is but anyways that's all i gotta say thank you guys for watching let me in the comments what you think and that's all i gotta say thank you guys for watching see you on the next one ciao